Thank you for taking the time to watch this product tour of Gravic Inc.'s Remark Test Grading Edition software. As you watch each piece within the process, you will be prompted to take action in order to continue through the video. These same actions will be taken when using the product. Remark Test Grading Edition is a streamlined test grading solution. You will use each step within the control panel across the top of the screen. Clicking on any of these buttons allows you to jump to that particular area of the software. You may also use the play bar at the bottom of the video to pause, rewind, and fast forward during any portion of the presentation. The first section prompts you to choose your class. Classes can be set up in the setup guide when creating a new instructor profile or directly within the choose class window. The drop down list contains all of the classes that have been created for the specific instructor. Here you can modify an existing class list, deactivate or delete a class you no longer need, and export class grades. When you are finished setting up your class, you can then proceed to the Choose Test section of Remark Test Grading Edition. The Choose Test area of the software allows you to enter test names that correspond with tests you have already created, and then choose standard test answer sheets to go with each test. The answer sheets available provide a number of different questions as well as answer choices. Please note that these are pre-made forms and cannot be created within Remark Test Grading Edition. You may find that Remark Test Grading Edition does not have a standard answer sheet that meets the number of questions you plan to have on your test. Fortunately, the number of questions on your actual test does not have to match the number of questions on the answer sheet. In these instances, you simply use an answer sheet that has enough questions to cover the number of questions on your test. Remark Test Grading Edition only grades the questions you have defined in your answer key. If you leave these additional questions blank within the answer key, the software ignores these, even if a student fills them in. The Answer Sheet Preview window towards the bottom of the screen shows an image of the answer sheet you select from the test corresponding answer sheet drop-down menu. The top portion is left blank in the preview. This is where the software automatically prints your instructor, student, test, and class details. The, the grid-in section at the bottom allows you to assign a point value for a subjective section such as an essay. Once you have confirmed that the test details are correct, you can click the Print Test button. Here you are able to print a test answer sheet for each student. The printing option is deactivated until you have chosen a class and a test making it easy to see what your next step is in the process. Once the orange button is active, you can then print tests for each student by marking the checkbox next to each of their names. If a student's test has already been printed, their checkbox is automatically deselected. You can reprint these tests if need be. Each form that is printed contains student details. You will want to be sure to distribute the test to each appropriate student. Printing can be done directly from the software, however, if you do not have a printer set up, you can use the preview button to generate a PDF file. This file can then be saved and used on another system that is connected to a printer. Once, once printed, a check appears in the printed column next to each student whose test has been printed. This feature allows you to easily determine if any tests are missing. You will notice that the first item within your class roster is an answer key. If you plan to scan in a completed key, you can print the key along with the student exams. Your alternative is to manually enter a key in the Modify Key window, which we will discuss next. It is important to note that the Modify Key section of the software is optional. You may find it easier to print, bubble in, and scan an answer key rather than defining one manually. If you decide to enter your answer key manually, you can simply click on the bubbles that correspond with the correct answers. You may prefer to use the keyboard, in which case you can type the appropriate answer and hit enter to continue to the next question. Regardless of the method you choose, Remark Test Grading Edition fills the bubbles in with your selections and all completed tests are graded based on this information. You may want to allow for more than one answer for some tests. To define more than one correct answer, you can hold the Shift key down and use either the mouse or keyboard to select the other correct answer. The Modify Key window also provides you with the ability to import a key, export the key you define, or set up an advanced key. The Advanced window allows you to assign different point values, treat questions as extra credit, and even define learning objectives. 
Your next step is to process tests. With Remark Test Grading Edition, you can process your test with an image scanner or read image files that have been scanned with a multifunction device, one that copies, prints, and scans. As your tests are processed, Remark Test Grading Edition places a check and a circle within the processed and snapshot columns respectively to let you know these steps have been completed. Further to the right, you can see the student scores in the test grade column and any exceptions in the review column. Exceptions refer to instances where multiple or blank responses are encountered on a test. For example, a student may cross out an answer and choose another, or erase a mark, leaving it partially filled. You can review any exceptions that you encounter before generating any reports. To review a student's exceptions, click the Review Exceptions links in the Review column or click the Review Data button at the top of the window. Reviewing your data is an important step as it allows you to validate your data before conducting any analysis. The Review Data window shows you the student's answers on the left and an image of their form on the right. You can use the image to determine if any changes need to be made. The example showing is a multiple response as the respondent filled in both A and D when we only allowed for one correct answer. We can see that the respondent crossed out D. Because there is a clear indication of which answer the respondent wanted, we can simply remove D as the selected answer. Now this test will be graded as if A was the only answer provided. You can continue on to the next exception by clicking the Next Exception button or by pressing Enter. You may come across instances where the answer desired has not been defined clearly. It is up to you to determine how you would like to handle these exceptions. If left in the data, they are marked as incorrect. The last step you will take within the Remark Test Grading Edition control panel is to run reports. Remark Test Grading Edition contains a total of eight grade reports. Once your data has been collected, you can run any of these reports directly in the software. A preview appears on screen or you can launch the report in your PDF viewer. The Student Statistics Report displays the grades for the entire class. Students are listed on the left side of the report, and in the letter grade, total point value and percent score are listed for each student. This is a great report for quickly seeing how students are performing. You can toggle through the various reports by selecting the drop-down menu and choosing the report you wish to view. We will continue to go through each report automatically, but you can end the presentation at any time by clicking the End Presentation button at the bottom of this window. Please select the Test Statistics Report to continue through the available reports. The Test Statistics Report displays descriptive statistics about the overall test. If the subjective question is used on the test, a breakdown of statistics for the overall tests objective items, and subjective items is displayed. The Student Response Report provides a class view of all test responses by student and by question. The students are listed on the left side of the report, while the questions are listed across the top. Each student's answers to each graded question is listed within a color box, green for correct responses and red for incorrect responses. A white empty box means that the student left the question blank. To the far right of the report, total score, percent score, and grade are listed. At the bottom of the report, the percentage of students who answered the question correctly is listed, as well as averages for the total score, percent score, and grade. This report provides visual insight to both student and question performance. The Condensed Test Report provides a summary of basic test statistics. The header contains statistical information about the test results as a whole. The body of the report shows each question, its response frequency, distractor information, and point by serial calculation. The Condensed Item Analysis Report displays an in-depth look at individual question statistics. Each question displays in a separate table. The question number is displayed at the top of each table. A bar chart is displayed to the right of the table containing statistics. 
The bar chart displays the correct responses in green and incorrect responses in red. If an incorrect response is chosen more than the correct response, its bar chart is yellow. The test item statistics report displays descriptive statistics for each question on the test, including points, number correct, number incorrect, number unanswered, point by serial, and percent correct. The student grade report provides a detailed grade report for each student. You may print these reports and give them to your students, parents, or other stakeholders. The report provides a summary of the student's answers and grade information from the test. Incorrect responses are highlighted in yellow. If subjective questions are included, they are highlighted in orange whenever full credit is not awarded. If extra credit questions are included, they are highlighted in blue. An image of the test can be optionally included in each student's report. And finally, the student test report provides individual reports based on the test answer sheet. An image of the student's answer sheet is displayed and annotated with the grade information. Correct answers are enclosed in a green box and incorrect answers are enclosed in a red box. The correct responses are displayed after the answer choices for any incorrect responses. At the top right of the report, the percent score, total score, and grade are displayed. This report was specifically designed for Remark Test Grading Edition. At this time, the student test report is unique to Remark Test Grading Edition. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Remark Test Grading Edition product tour. For more information, please contact the Remark sales team or visit our website to sign up to receive the latest news and updates from the Remark Products Group. Thank you for your interest in Remark Test Grading Edition.